Hey everybody, this is Rizom from Inquisitor.org and today I want to share with you two simple layout components that I use all across Inquisitor.org and that you may find useful too for your own project because they significantly decrease complexity of an app. Let's check them out. We can think of any layout on a web page as either a grid, horizontal stack or vertical stack. Of course, we know that we can create grids with CSS grid and we can create horizontal stacks or vertical stacks with either Flexbox or CSS grid. So let's check this on a real example on Inquisitor.org. So for example, here we have a horizontal stack, right? There is like a left side, right side and a gap between them. If you look at this part uh, and we have also a stack, but the first element is a grid of elements. Right, and everything in the app is actually either a stack or a grid, but stacks for the most part, because there's not that many situations where I need a grid to present elements. Let's jump into the code. So at Inquisitor.org, I use React, styled components and TypeScript. There is still some old part with JavaScript, but I try to get rid of them. So here I export two components, vertical stack and horizontal stack. Both of them share the same CSS, but the only difference is, of course, flex direction. If you look at stack CSS, here we have a display flex and a bunch of optional parameters. So the first one is gap, then classical align items, justify content, wrap, shortly for flex wrap, and also full width and full height because they're very useful. And for example, with gap, we could either pass 20 as a number, or we can uh, pass some different CSS unit. To convert it, we have this simple helper to check if the type of value is number, and then it adds pixels, or otherwise it returns an initial parameter. So every style component has a bunch of properties. So for example, we don't need to specify style because it's already in those components. And of course we can use uh, as prop, for example, to not have a div, but a form tag, right? Stuff like that. So what we have in parameters? Here we are leveraging uh, existing types, so we can access them by using React, CSS properties, and then accessing uh, the attribute itself. So we have uh, this for pretty much every, every property except full width and full head that are booleans. Okay, let's check some examples. So for example, there is a component that shows two membership plans. And we use horizontal stack to place them horizontally, uh, make them take full width and have a gap of 20 pixels. Very simple to use, otherwise you would need to create a container component and write a display flex, align items, all this stuff. But here we could do it much easier, right? And then like another example would be a focus project option. So we can see it here, right? There's like focus project option. It is this like button like components is actually horizontal stack that has align items center. So we can see that it's centered uh, aligned and it have justify content space between because we have here name and here's uh, this sign. So, and that's H stack. Now let's check where we use V stack. So you can see it's like uh, 55 files. It's really popular in Cruiser. And for example, here we have a uh, sign up view, right? So here we have uh, a vertical stack with aligned items and then like vertical stack inside of it and a bunch of other stuff, right? And it's super easy to use. Right, we don't need to create extra components, um, and once you get once you get used to those components, it's super easy to read and understand, and you spend less energy creating components. So that was a video about horizontal and vertical stacks. Maybe you'll find it useful and implemented them in your own project. So stay productive and have a good day. Bye bye.